This website that you're seeing right now, I'm hosting using SiteGround. I didn't do any optimizations to improve the loading speed myself and I just let SiteGround automatically optimize it. It loads in around one second, even though it's extremely heavy with large images and full of content. It also scores a 98% in performance together with 100% in structure. Let's do a SiteGround review and see how this is possible. Welcome to Emmet Reviews, where I provide you with real and honest information about web hosting. In today's topic, we have SiteGround. SiteGround has recently upgraded all of their plans with new software, claiming that they now run better and even unlocked some additional functionality for their cheapest plans. To test these claims, I'm going to do a full SiteGround review and give you my honest opinion. So this is how your website management will look after you purchase a SiteGround plan. Very sleek and modern, especially compared to the classic cPanel tools that come with providers like A2 Hosting, InterServer, or InMotion Hosting. All of your websites are listed in one place and it's easy to create new websites if you have a Grow Big or Go Geek plans because you can create an unlimited amount on just one plan. If you want to create a new website, all you need to do is click New Website, choose the name for it, or use a temporary name given by SiteGround for free, choose if you're going to create a new website or migrate an old one from other providers, and you can even have the option of pre-installing such applications as WordPress or WooCommerce if you're creating an e-store. Once your website is created, you will be able to dive into the advanced options by clicking on Site Tools. This is where you'll be able to work on your website's security, email accounts like name at your site.com so it looks professional, and you will be able to see statistics about your website visitors. All of this is completely free and included with every single plan. This control panel is basically brand new. It was updated less than a year ago, and it's a real lifesaver for those who've never managed a website before, because you can complete some pretty complex tasks in just a couple of clicks. Server-side caching, or as SiteGround calls it, dynamic cache, ooh, very fancy indeed, is the biggest speed optimization you can have with a web hosting provider. Let me explain how it works. Imagine this filing cabinet is your server. All of the folders inside are your website and database files. Now, a user comes and asks the filing cabinet or the server to show them the About Us page. Now, the filing cabinet would have to look through all of the folders inside and find the right one, then hand it over to the user. The user takes a look and puts it back in a random place in the filing cabinet. When a new user comes and asks for the About Us page, the filing cabinet has to find it again. This takes time. Now, here's how caching helps and what SiteGround does. When a user asks for the About Us page, the filing cabinet finds it, but instead of giving it to the user, it just takes a picture of it and shows that instead. The original folder goes back into the filing cabinet, but the server has this picture or a copy always in hand. So when a new user comes and asks for the About Us page, the server instantly hands them the copy without needing to look for it in the folders. This increases website speed from 50 to 500%, depending on how many files are on your server, and making the response time pretty much instant, loading web pages as fast as your internet access can handle. Dynamic caching is not very popular, and not many web hosting providers offer this. However, in their recent update, SiteGround has started offering this even with their cheapest plan. It's quite a big step up in the web hosting game. Web hosting is a subscription service. You have to pay for it each month. Excuse me, what? However, most providers allow you to prepay for one, two, or three years in advance to save some money, because you get a discounted price on your first purchase. After that initial term expires, the price increases to regular. In SiteGround's case, here's the difference between first purchase price and regular pricing. 
startup goes from $5 to $15, with the average being around $10 per month. Grow Big goes from $8 to $25 a month, with the average of around $17 and GoGeek goes from $15 on the initial term to $40 upon the renewal, with the average of around $28 per month. And I understand that if you don't deal with web hosting on the regular, it might be hard to understand if this is cheap or is this expensive. So let me get you some reference points from the top SiteGround competitors so you have a better understanding of the whole industry. Kinsta starts at $30 per month, Flywheel starts at around 15, WPX Host is 21, and WP Engine is 25. And SiteGround, on average, was just around $10 per month. So technically, that makes SiteGround the cheapest premium brand there is. However, don't be mistaken, there are more than just premium brands on the market. You can actually get some cheap web hosting in the $1 to $5 range from providers like Bluehost or Hostinger. However, these will probably come with less extra functionality and just a little bit of a downgrade in speed. But this is a trade-off that you have to make as a consumer. Do you want to go with a premium brand that's more expensive or a cheaper brand that's probably gonna work just as well if your website is very small. But wait, you can find discount links for all these providers in the description down below and get a cheaper price most of the time. By using the links in the description, you also help me make honest reviews. Typically, I spend over 100 hours on just a single review, researching, filming, testing, and most importantly, editing these videos. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? So they're informative, entertaining, and as helpful to you as possible. The only way I can do this is by accepting affiliate commissions. This has become my full-time job. So if you use the links in the description, in most cases you will get a discount and I will get a cut of what you spend, allowing me to not accept any sponsorships and continue to make my reviews honest. Thank you for keeping me an independent and honest reviewer, and let's get back to this video. I've already shown you that this website loads in under one second, and when browsing through it, it seems almost instantaneous. It just feels fast. The reason for that is that I'm hosting it using the SiteGround Go Geek plan, which is suited for way bigger projects than this demo website. Even if I would add more user accounts, e-commerce products, or databases, I highly doubt that the server speed would go below 2 seconds. And there's a very important reason for that. SiteGround is now using the Google Cloud infrastructure and that allows them to do two things. Use more RAM and distribute that RAM better across all of its servers. On top of that, they have recently moved away from cPanel and with that, they don't have any more limitations that were imposed by cPanel. So SiteGround has like free reign of how many resources they're gonna give you. And they give you a lot. SiteGround is using a new MySQL setup allowing their servers to handle simultaneous parallel requests, reducing slow query speed by 10 to 20 times. And boy, this sentence had a lot of words that are really hard to say. But this is an extremely impactful thing if you're running an e-commerce store and you have visitors constantly browsing or buying products, since each click is a database interaction to check if it's in stock, etc, etc. One additional feature that makes a SiteGround a more premium choice than its competitors is that they're now using the Broadly compression algorithm over the traditional gzip solution. Broadly is being developed by Google and makes your HTML, CSS and JavaScript files around 15-20% to 20 smaller than what gzip was able to do, basically making your website smaller in size and giving you that extra speed boost if you have an extremely large website. And you don't even have to fully understand what I'm talking about here, because SiteGround thought of that as well. Every single WordPress website hosted on SiteGround will have a plugin called SG Optimizer pre-installed automatically, where you can control, like activate or deactivate all of these settings with just a simple click, everything else is done completely automatically. 
Should you get side ground? Is it worth it for your project? Well, in my opinion, if you have the budget of 10 to $30 per month and you don't have much technical knowledge, that means you can't set up your own dedicated server or maintain a virtual private server, absolutely go for SiteGround. They give you pretty much everything you need for a professional and fast website for a reasonable cost and most importantly, a lot of the technical stuff is done completely automatically. That means your project will probably be faster and more professional than just you doing it on your own and learning as you go. However, if you think that your website is not worth the $10 to $30 per month and that's an absurd price to pay for web hosting, just go for a cheaper option. You can get web hosting for like a dollar from Hostinger or like $3 from Bluehost. And if you're just having a simple project, that's probably gonna be more than enough for you. Anyways, my name is Emmett. Find more reviews on my channel and I wish you luck creating your websites.